Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlickers, shills, dev slicers, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, music fans. I'm a useful idiot, and uh, welcome. And of course, if uh, I'm talking about music, my first love, uh, inevitably, it's because another uh, giant or legend or personal favorite of mine has uh, passed on. And in this case, it's Jackie um, Liebesite, the drummer for the legendary group, German group, Can. And uh, I know a lot of Americans really aren't that familiar with them. They don't have a very high profile here. They didn't really have any hits in this country and, and have zero presence. But uh, the, the, the group Can made somewhere around 12, 13 albums, not including all these rarities and uh, outtakes and reissues and, um, and comp compilations and whatnot. So there's a lot of material out there. And, of course, uh, there's a lot of things that I will attach below so people can familiarize themselves with them if they so choose. I recommend it. But uh, Jackie Liebesite was a, a, a giant and one of the most respected drummers in the world. And, well, he should be because uh, the, the group Can is, is mostly characterized by uh, his unusual approach uh, to uh, drumming. It really has to be heard to be believed, and there's really nothing quite like it. And it had a profound influence on a lot of other musicians, and, and you can hear it, uh, including the, the, the Chicago group Tortoise, for example, comes to mind. But uh, all in all, it's hard to discern sometimes the influence because Can it was so unique and continues to sound unique even all these decades later after their initial records. And uh, they came out in uh, 1968, uh, as I understand, with the, the uh, album Monster Movie, although there's uh, material that precurses that. So they were, uh, were active before that. And then uh, also uh, uh, Jackie Leib Liebesite, well, excuse me, uh, was also the... Um, drummer for Manfred Spoof jazz group before that, so he comes from a jazz background, and then uh, the the fact that he was uh, in uh, this group can with a, this amazing lineup, all of them uh, unique, uh, stellar musicians, uh, innovators and originators, and uh, their their combined ensemble work is is really pretty incredible. Um, and so we had Holger Zuke on bass, Armin Schmidt on guitar, and Michael Caroli on uh, keyboards. And then uh, in some of their earlier, in, in one of their earlier incarnations, uh, Damo Suzuki, who's a legend uh, all in his own, uh, was the uh, singer of the band. And uh, what a what a singer. Uh, once again, some people might have difficulty with some of his vocals, but uh, one has to ask, how would you sing to this kind of music? And uh, what kind of music it is? Uh, early on, of course, uh, they were uh, uh, more, more of a, a psychedelic band, as was the the, the nature of music in 68, 69, and whatnot. And then they moved into the so-called progressive movement, and then the, this, this whole phenomenon in Germany uh, that's now referred to as Krautrock um, is really quite a chapter, and there's a lot of, a lot of groups like Faust and Can that are part of this and uh, are all very unique and uh, very interesting and uh, truly original. So that German scene is something worth exploring for anybody interested as well. And uh, Once again, I recommend it although sometimes not for the timid and certainly not for the, the musically conventional. But uh, like I say, Jackie Liebesite's uh, contributions to the band are so crucial and so uh, paramount to their overall sound uh, with these, um, these uh, patterns that he would create and integrating with the rest of the group. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, they, they went from uh, psychedelia to prog into to more funky uh, 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 versions of the band uh, later, and uh, it's all a great body of work. And uh, Jackie uh, Liebesite also worked with uh, all kinds of other uh, um, adventurous musicians, including Brian Eno and Jaw Wobble from uh, the group Public Image Limited. So you can find him on a, a bunch of other uh, uh, work as well, besides Can, and, and that's all attached in uh, stories that I'll post below too. But uh, died at 78. He uh, died at the age of 78 uh, of pneumonia, a very unfortunate loss. And, um, well, there you have it, uh, another passing of a giant. And I, I tend to get more uh, heartbroken about things like this than some of these uh, big stars who, who uh, uh, pass on. And I sometimes forget to uh, get around to making a video. And, uh, but uh, I truly have to, to mark this one because uh, Jackie Liebesite was a giant and a, a drummer uh, of all, uh, drummer of all drummers. He will be missed. I'm useful idiot, don't you be one too.